this holy hour for all people. For all humankind, especially sinners, may the power of your grace and forgiveness transform their lives. For all priests and religious, may they grow in love and in zeal for you and your mission. For our world, as we battle the coronavirus and the death and the isolation that is facing all people. For all devout and faithful people, may they never fail in love and mercy, nor lose the treasure of the Catholic faith. For all those who do not believe in you, and those who do not yet know you, may they sincerely seek and find you. For all who have been separated themselves from the church, may they soon recognize their error and return to unity in the one true faith. For all meek and humble souls and the souls of little children, may they be like a sweet smelling bouquet before your presence, infusing the world with love, joy, and hope. For all those who especially venerate glorify your divine mercy. During life, and especially at the hour of death, may you defend them and judge them with your mercy. For all souls in purgatory, may the streams of blood and water gushing forth from your heart extinguish the cleansing flames that surround them. For all souls who have become lukewarm, may the fire of your loving mercy inflame their hearts with passion for you and your church. God of love and compassion, in this octave of Easter, we bring our prayers before you, confident that your mercy brings eternal life to all who seek your mercy and extend it to others. May our words and deeds in this life bring us one day to the eternal feast of mercy, where we will sit with your Son Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. A reading of the excerpts from St. Faustina's diary. Over and over again, our Lord expressed his desire to St. Faustina that the whole world be told of his mercy. Proclaim that mercy is the greatest attribute of God. All the works in my hands are crowned with mercy. Do all you possibly can for the work of my mercy. I desire that my mercy be worshipped, and I'm giving humankind the last hope of salvation that is recourse to my mercy. The two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water, which makes souls righteous. The red ray stands for the blood, which is the life of souls. These two rays issue forth from the very depths of my tender mercy when my agonized heart was opened by a lance on the cross. These rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. Happy is the one who dwells in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of him. From all my wounds, mercy flows for souls. But the wound in my heart is the fount of unfathomable mercy. From this fountain springs all grace for souls. The flames of compassion burn in me. I desire greatly to pour them out upon souls. Souls who spread the honor of my mercy, I shield their eternal life as a tender mother her infant. And at the hour of death, I will not be a judge for them, but the merciful Savior. At that last hour, 
A soul has nothing with which to defend itself except my mercy. Happy is the soul that during its lifetime immerses itself in the fountain of mercy, because justice will have no hold on it. Our Lord said, At three o'clock, implore my mercy, especially for sinners, and if only for a brief moment, immerse yourself in my passion, particularly in my abandonment at the moment of agony. This is the hour of great mercy. In this hour, I will refuse nothing to the soul that makes a request of me in virtue of my passion. It is clear that our Lord wants us to meditate on his passion at this hour, to whatever degree our duties allow, and he wants us to ask for his mercy. And so we now pray these stations 
to God. Eternal Father, I, I offer, offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his institution of the Eucharist as the memorial of his passion, after each station all respond, have mercy on us and on the whole world. After each station, we respond, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his institution of the Eucharist as the memorial of his passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his agony in the garden, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being scourged and crowned with thorns, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being condemned to death, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his carrying the cross, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his falling under the weight of the cross, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his meeting his afflicted mother, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his accepting help in carrying the cross, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his receiving mercy from Veronica, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his consoling the women, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being stripped, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being crucified, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his death on the cross, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being buried, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his being raised from the dead, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, mighty one, mighty one, mighty one holy, holy immortal, immortal one, one, have mercy on us, us and on, on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy, one, holy immortal, immortal one, one, have mercy on us, us and on, on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, one, one holy immortal one, one have, have mercy on us, us and on, on the whole world. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable to thy mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge us the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Have mercy on 
shine on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. Of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. The sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world.
is I trust in you. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. I, I trust, trust in, in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of the God. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Divine mercy, found gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Divine mercy unfathomed by an intellect, human, or angelic. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy from which fills forth all life and happiness. 
I trust, I trust in you. Divine mercy better than the heavens. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Divine mercy descending to the earth in the person of the incarnate word. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus. I, I, I trust, trust in, in you. Divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us, and especially for sinners. I trust, I trust in, you. in you. Divine mercy and phantom in the institution of the sacred host. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in the sacrament of the Holy Baptism. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life. I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of our death. I trust in you. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life. I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in the conversion of the hardened sinner. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy astonishment for angels, incomprehensible for saints. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy unfathomed in all the mysteries of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy, source of all our happiness and joy. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy, crown of all God's handiwork. I trust in you. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. I trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, repose of hearts. Peace amidst fear. I, I trust, trust in you. you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasies of holy souls. I, I trust, trust in you. This prayer gives us a true measure of your mercy a mirror in which we can observe ourselves as other merciful Christs. We can well make it our morning invocation and our evening examination of conscience. O, o most holy Trinity, Trinity as, as many times as I pray, as, as many times as my heart beats, as many times as my blood pulsates through my body, so many thousand times do I want to glorify your mercy? I want to be completely transformed into your mercy and to be your living reflection, O Lord. May the greatest of all divine attributes, that of your unfathomable mercy, pass through my heart and soul to my name. Help, Help me, O Lord, that, that my eyes may be merciful so that I may never suspect or judge from appearances, but look for what is beautiful in my neighbor's souls and come to their rescue. Help me, O Lord, that my ears may be merciful, so that I may give heed to my neighbor's needs and not be indifferent to their pain and moan. Help me, O Lord, that my tongue may be merciful, so that I should never speak negatively of my neighbor, but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. 
Help me, O Lord, that my hands may be merciful and filled with good deeds, so that I do only good to my neighbors and take upon myself to do more difficult and toilsome tasks. Help me, O Lord, that my feet may be merciful, that I may hurry to assist my neighbor, overcoming my own fatigue and weariness. My true rest is in the service of my neighbor. Help me, O Lord, that my heart may be merciful, so that I myself may feel all the sufferings of my neighbor. I will refuse my heart to no one. I will be sincere even with those who I know will abuse my kindness. And I will lock myself up in the most merciful heart of Jesus. I will bear my own sufferings in silence. May your mercy, O Lord, rest upon me. Lord, you yourself, yourself commanded commanded to exercise the three degrees of mercy. The first, the act of mercy of whatever kind. The second, the word of mercy. If I cannot carry out the work of mercy, I will assist by my words. Third, prayer. If I cannot show mercy by deeds or words, I can always do so by prayer. For my prayer reaches out, even when I cannot reach out physically. You have given them bread from heaven. Alleluia. Having all sweetness within it, alleluia. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have given us the true bread from heaven. In the strength of this food, may we live always by your life and rise in glory on the last day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 